Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the break statement in C++. So this break statement has two uses in C++. When this break statement is encountered inside a loop, the loop will be immediately terminated and the program control resumes at the next statement following the loop. And also this break statement is used to terminate the case in switch statement, you know, which we're gonna learn on the tutorial about the switch statement. So this break statement is normally used to immediately terminate a loop. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a program which is gonna print the number from one to 10. And uh, for that, we're gonna use a loop and I'll demonstrate, you know, how to use the break statement in that loop. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, we're going to create a variable and I'm going to call it as counter and then we're going to create a for loop. So it's going to be for then counter equal to one counter less than or equal to 10 counter plus plus and inside this for loop we're gonna print out the value of the counter you know we just wanted to print the number from 1 to 10 so it's gonna be C out then counter then let's add new line so this loop is gonna print the number from 1 to 10 so now let's say for some reason you want to terminate this loop when this counter value becomes 5 at that time we can use the break statement so I'm gonna use if counter equal to 5 I want to break this loop so now I'm gonna save this build and run this and you guys can see here you know 1 2 3 4 5 that's because you know when this counter value was less than 5 you know this if was producing false and that's why this break statement was not executed and when this counter value become 5 it just printed the f value 5 here and then this condition satisfied and this break is executed so when this break statement is executed in a loop you know that particular loop will be terminated immediately and the execution of the program will be continued from the next line after the loop now after this loop if we have any statement here you know that will be executed when this break is executed inside this loop and the next thing is about the break statement inside a nested loop a nested loop is nothing but a loop inside another loop so here just for the demonstration purpose let's say we want to print the number from 1 to 3 5 times so I'm gonna change this one to 5 here counter and then inside this for loop I'm gonna create another variable let's call it as inner counter and we are not gonna initialize it here and here I'm gonna create another for loop so it's gonna be for in a counter equal to one in a counter is less than or equal to three that's because you know we want to print the number from one to three and uh, in a counter plus plus so here we just want to print the number from one to three five times so inside this see out Okay, I'm gonna remove this C out statement in the outer for loop and uh, it's gonna be C out in a counter and then let's add end line. That's it. I'm gonna save this. Let's run it to make sure that it's producing properly. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So here, this program is now producing the numbers from 1 to 3 5 times. So now, let's say when this value becomes 2, we want to terminate the inner loop. If inner counter is equal to 2, we want to break it. So now I'm gonna save it, build and run this. So now you guys can see we got one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, five times. That's because what happened here is when this inner counter value was you know less than or equal to two, you know, it just printed out one, and then when it became two, 
you know, I just printed out the value 2 and then this if statement satisfied and that's why this break is executed and this for loop is terminated immediately and the statement after this for loop is executed. The next statement after the for is nothing but this outer for loop and that's why this outer for loop is continued with its next iteration you know the counter value became 2 and again here it just printed 1 and 2 this 1 and 2 and again this break statement and the same thing you know till this counter value became 5. So this break statement in a C++ program is normally used for the immediate termination of the loop and it's also used in the switch statement to terminate the case and when we use this break statement in a nested loop you know the loop where this break statement is present only that loop will be terminated and the outer loop will not be affected. So this is it guys this is about the break statement in C++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lab and I'll see you in the next tutorial.